My name is Ravid Kahalani. Um, I'm a Yemeni Jew. Um, I have uh, a band called Yemen Blues. I'm a singer, composer. Uh, my father came from a small place called Kohlan in Yemen, which is uh, close to Sana'a. I grew up to the Jewish Yemeni culture. My father was teaching us a lot about the Yemeni culture and the Yemeni singing, and uh, I guess it's part of why I also sing. <laughs> For him, it feels natural to, to sing in Yemen or to sing in uh, uh, Hebrew or in English. He felt the color of the music has to be a color of language. <laughs> I do not. Yeah, I do not. Yeah, it's definitely natural for me. It's definitely comfortable for me to sing in Yemen because when I was a kid, so we were uh, training in on, the, uh, on based on the Yemeni culture, the the prayers and the, and the songs. So you sing it with uh, with an Arabic, uh, totally Arabic uh, pronouncing. Uh, with the hayat and ayn and qa and gha and da and sa and all this is is totally Arabic. Even though I hated it when I was a kid, I'm glad I I, I, I had it now because it really helps me with the singing and it gives me a rich uh, kind of uh, technique to approach other languages. <laughs> Going in the streets of Serbia and I heard this um, church singing and I loved it and I started to sing Serbian Orthodox. I really wanted to go and, and sing in churches in Serbia. But then I met my friend which was uh, introducing to me all the African music. The African music was a revolution for my soul, my eyes, my journey as a musician or a singer and it's, it's just, it opened my eyes and a lot of genres that we have today start from there. <laughs> We started with Yemen Blues and we had some bars going on in Yemen. And this guy Ahmed Al Shaiba was an amazing oud player from Sana'a and he was messaging me from there and he would love to meet and collaborate. So we met in New York and he helped me to translate uh, almost all the lyrics for the, for the new album. <laughs> We need to remember to see the beauty in the culture, the religion. In Yemeni culture, there are amazing things and amazing um, events. One of them called Jale, smoking the, the Mada'a, which they smoke it and they take the gut and they sing, they sing for hours. So this is the Gimbri. Well, this piece specifically they got from uh, Kadar, an amazing guy from uh, Algeria. 
he had this and he saw me play on it and he said this should be yours so he he took the belt of his grandmother that was here because it was his uh, personally uh, personal instrument um, and gave it to me this is what you call love you know this is what you call uh, to really see an opportunity to to give something I know that it will be one day that we will come to Yemen and sing Yemen blues songs in, in Yemen. And I believe in it and I will keep believing it until it will, hap it will happen. <laughs> Yeah, man.